In this video, we're going to learn how to count the number of whitespace characters in a string using C. So whitespace characters include the space character, but they also include characters like the newline character, which is backslash N, and the tab character, which is backslash T. So if we have a car array called string, we could store into this car array the string, line one, then new line, line two, then new line, then tab, then line three. And in this string, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six whitespace characters. Now, in order to count the number of whitespace characters in this string, we're going to go through the car array one index at a time. And each time, we'll check to see if the character at that index is a whitespace character or not. If the character is a whitespace character, then we'll increment a running count of the number of whitespace characters in the string. So to do this, we'll need to know the length of the string. We can include the string.h library to help with this, because this library includes a function called strlen, which is going to return the length of a string. And we'll also include the ctype library, because this library includes a function called isspace, which is going to let us know if a character is a whitespace character or not. Then we'll find the length of the string. We'll have here int length to declare a variable of type int called length, and we'll assign to this variable the return value of calling the string length function strlen and passing it our string. So the strlen function is going to return the number of characters in the string, not including the special null terminator character that's at the end of the string. So because the first index of this array is going to be zero, that tells us that this last character here must be at the index length minus one because we have length amount of characters in the string. So we could make a loop with a counter variable that goes from the index zero by one up until the index length minus one. Let's do that. We'll have here a for loop with a counter variable i that's going to start off at zero. Then we'll continue the loop so long as i is less than length and we'll increment i by one with each loop iteration. So i is going to begin at zero, the first index of the string. With each loop iteration, it's going to be incremented by one. So we can use i to check each character in the string. Now the loop is going to stop once i reaches length. So that means the last index we'll check is the index length minus one, which is where this last character here is. Then what we could do is keep a running count of the number of whitespace characters we encounter. Let's declare the variable to store the running count. We'll have here int count is equal to zero. And this variable is going to store the running count of whitespace characters in the string. We initialize the variable to zero because before we go through the string one character at a time, we haven't counted any whitespace characters yet. Now in the loop body, what we'll do is check to see if the character at the index i is a whitespace character. And we'll use the isBase function from the ctype library to do this. So here, if we call is space and pass it the character in the string at the index i, this function is going to return true if that character is a whitespace character and false otherwise. So if is space returns true, then we're going to increment count with count plus plus to acknowledge that we have found another whitespace character. So by the time this loop is done, we'll have counted all the whitespace characters in the string, and we can then output that count. So down here, we'll have printf, and we'll have total whitespace characters. Then we'll have percent %d to output the int value and backslash n for a new line, and we'll output here the count. Then if we save compile and run the program, we'll get that we have a total whitespace characters count of six, which is correct. Now, one more thing we could do is put this logic inside a function that way, we can call the function at different places in our source code to count the number of whitespace characters in a string. So up here, we'll declare the function. We'll have int for the return value because the function is going to return the number of whitespace characters that are in the string, it's passed as an argument. And we'll call the function count whitespace and the function will have a parameter car star string for the string that's passed as a function argument. Then we'll copy this and paste it down here. Then we're going to cut and paste our logic into this function. 
So we'll take our logic from main and we'll cut it here. Then we'll paste it into the function. And this time we're going to return the count. So we're going to have return count to return the count. Then we'll call the function up here. We'll declare a variable of type int called count to store the function return value. We'll call count whitespace and we'll pass it our string. And if we save compile and run the program, we'll again get that we have six total whitespace characters, which is correct. So this is how we can count the total number of whitespace characters in a string using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.